Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. This or that? This or that? That or this? That's the question I'm always asking when I'm in a liquor store. Looking at the shelves, looking at all the bottles. Do I want this or do I want that? And that question is so much trickier now because there's so much sourcing going on. Everybody's putting out MGP whiskey. MGP is everywhere. It's everywhere. From Penelope, to Smoke Wagon, to Barrel King, to pff, Old Elk, to a million others. It's a lot. It's a freaking lot. So then it comes down to, what are you buying? What are you buying and why are you buying it? Are they just buying barrels from MGP and putting them out as single barrels? Where they're doing nothing to them, it's just they're a middleman between you and MGP. They're just taking the barrels, throwing them in bottles, and selling them. Or are they blending? Are they blending MGP with their own stuff like uh, Redwood Empire? Are they blending MGP barrels together to create a taste profile? Are they, you know, finishing? You know, so, so there you have options and what you're looking for. So when it comes down to blending, which is I'm more interested in blending. So what I have in front of me right now are two blended bourbons that were distilled at MGP and then blended and bottled by non-distilling producers, NDPs. That's what they are. Smoke Wagon doesn't distill any of this juice. It's all MGP, and Aaron blends this. This is batch number 59. It was bottled April 19th, 2021. I just cracked it before this video um, because, because, because. It's 56.99% alcohols. Now this is Barrel King. This is batch 36. It's a little higher proof, just over 60. And this is blended by Jared Record, um, record uh, of Barrel King from Bourbon, Missouri. Now this is famously from Las Vegas. Let's see how they compare. As you can see, I put them in my Black Glens. So we're going to uh, mix up. And we're going to see, I spilled some on myself, dang. We're going to see how they compare, blind, and then I'll reveal which one is which after I compare them. My hands smell amazing now. Mm, okay, so let's start right here. Interestingly, okay, the first thing that hits me here is this comes off sharp. Sharp, rye forward, a little bit of mint, a little bit of spearmint, but like, like a whole wintergreen medley of mint. Hints of caramel hiding out behind that. Chocolate, fruity, almost like a Stinker's bar with fruit. Well, it's taste. Citrus, sharp. Very sharp. Why? Why is it so sharp? Hints of creaminess after the sharpness subsides. The mouthfeel is rough and brut. 
Maybe that's what you're looking for in a whiskey? There's a little funky, almost sour note. Huh, okay. Oh, oh my God. This isn't a fair fight. This is not a fair fight. And I'm now regretting doing this a little bit. Um, I hoped that these were closer to each other. I hoped that these would be a little more competitive with each other, but hands down, this one wins. I mean, it's not even a competition. This is sharp and rough and unbalanced, and, and honestly feels a little young. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure this one is this one. We're gonna find out in a second. I'm pretty sure this one is that one. I know that this one's six years old, just a little over six or eight years old, and this one, I don't know. Um, there's reportedly certain ages, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So let's find out. Let's see. I think this is, yeah, smoke wagon. That one's smoke wagon. And this is obviously the barrel king. That doesn't compete with that. I wanted them to be closer. I wanted this to be more of a struggle. I didn't want to smell this one and automatically know which one it was. And I did. And and so this was, I mean, yeah. Anyway, I'd much rather have that. <laughs> There's not much competition there. So, yikes. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, uh, be careful what you drink from and from where it's from. I don't know. I don't know what the, the I don't know what what lesson we're supposed to take from this video. It just is what it is, and that's kind of depressing. Have a great day.